I was talking about some more Dragon Fable now. I've not uploaded it in like uh, two days. I was just taking a day off anyway, so I could record a bunch of stuff. But I had a video yesterday, and this quest, Desert Night, is bullshit. I was trying to do it, and it pissed me off, and I couldn't do it, so I had to delete the video and redo it now. Um, I was too pissed off yesterday to actually um, finish it, so I just had to quit it and restart it. So, what I've done, I've got my Pyromancer equipped because um, it can heal itself. And I've also got Attics and Nefiri because they can heal themselves too. Because, when you're going through, these boulders are going to rain down and hit you on the head. And they do about 400 damage per boulder. And um, yeah, the quest is basically impossible. Unless you can self-heal, and um, my Ascendant uh, could not self-heal, so um, yeah, I had to um, forfeit that. Um, let's just get right in. So yeah, I was a little bit annoyed yesterday, as you can probably tell. Hey, what's up? As you can see, Atria is under siege. The Rose is trying to either capture it or destroy it, I'm not sure. Remind me, how are we going to get into Atria, and how exactly are we going to get there without a griff? The letter I received said that Altians can help reinforce the ship's structure, making it more resistant to the void currents. The void has currents? Anyway, I think I have figured out how to get to Atria. We have to get to the Rose encampment. Okay, why? Have a little faith. So, are we good to go? No, I think it'll be safer to go after nightfall. They are too easy to spot right now, and I don't find any caves for us to hide in. Wait, we wait here until it gets dark and hope Rose Scout won't notice us. Can he set up a campfire? No can do. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you do it? I am a pyromancer, so I can make a pretty good fire, but I don't want to. Binoculars. He's spying on us. So, know any ghost stories? Ghost stories? Really? Midnight? Can we just wait in silence? Oh, come on, one story before we leave. Uh, alright. Once upon a time, there was a man named Tanislav. He lived in a small village called Mortem. He had a wife and a child. The child's name was Royer. Suddenly, Royer was suffering from a terrible illness that was slowly killing him. Over the years, Tanislav tried multiple methods to cure his son, but everything failed. One day, Tanislav had word that a strange matron dressed in a cloak black as night had come to the village. The stranger asked by Tanislav if he could cure his little boy, sold him sold him an old parchment. The scroll described a forbidden ritual of liquefying one's life essence into a medicine. Years after, after years of fruitless attempts at saving Roya's life, Tanislav was desperate enough to perform the ritual. He sacrificed his wife. However, the medicine made from her life essence were not strong enough to cure the boy. And thus, Tanislav, driven by his insane diversion, saving his son, moved him to a safe place and drew the ritual circle. Surrounding the entire village and watched from afar as every villager was liquefied into the remedy, he then poured the medicine into his son's throat and killed himself in remorse. The boy lived. <gasps> he killed himself for no reason. I've got chills. Yeah, the sun seems cold at night. No, I mean from the... Anyway, what happened next? Though There is a next part, right? Oh uh, yes, there is. The boy Roy was the first weaver. All of those villagers became the first elemental spirits. Roy learned how to, for lack of better term, use them. He grew up, had four children, and they were founders of the four weaving families. Um, Baltiel, Pandora, and Oiva, soul weaving, the case weavers, and soul smithing. The many theories about the fourth child, it's probably Tomix, but all of them lead to the same outcome. 
Yoshi was a fan of makes. Probably not Tom Meeks, actually. I'm sure it is, but we have things to do. Come on. Run faster. Yes, yeah, see, I'm not slow mo running anymore. How do you stop? Can you hear it? Hear what? Oomph. <laughs> Almost dead. <laughs> Avatars. Are you alright, Tomix? Oh no. We've been spotted. Alright, try to not get killed. Meet you at the Rose Camp. Meet you at... Why? What do you mean by that? Don't worry, I've got this. He left me, Tomix. So yeah, this quest is a bit bullshit and you'll see why in a second. Um, which way do I go this way? Never mind. <laughs> um, I haven't used the Paramount in a very long time. I'm not sure how it works. <laughs> well, I'll do. Uh, let's do... Where, where is everything? There, there. So yeah, it's, we're going to use Paramenta so I can self-heal. It's going to be very useful. Pure. Can't even mind that I'm a lot weaker now, but uh, that that's okay. Doesn't really matter. Kinda need the health regen more than I need the damage. Um, try. Oh no, I thought that was a triple attack. Never mind. Shit, I feel like a moron now. It does the most damage. It don't really matter. I think Artix does. Yeah, Artix does. Right, this way? Yeah, this way gets a bit bullshit. I'm gonna start getting hit by giant boulders. Oh, press the wrong one. God damn it. <laughs> it's not hitting Malsifier. I'm messing everything up. It's not good. Definitely not good. Um, yeah, might as well. Uh, oh, six health. I thought it was dead, and I thought it wasn't me doing out. Why is nothing hitting me? I'm very sure I should be getting hit right now. I'm not going to complain, because um, that's not a bad thing, but I'm very confused. Because if I'm not going to get hit, then I was getting pissed off for a glitch or a bug. Something? Oh, there you go. Never mind. Uh, this way. Never mind. See what I mean? It's bullshit. Actual bullshit. Look at my health. Ridiculous. Is he gonna hit me again? The worst part about it. See, so yeah, I've got a character that heal myself. How often can Artix heal himself though? That's the question. I might as well wait until he's dead. Because you can actually um, still heal him, even though, like... So if, if he gets hit, he goes to zero health, but you can actually still, um... Look, I, you can still actually use them in the next fight. Look, they're actually here. <laughs> so if, you can probably heal them. Um, I'm gonna do... Which one's Rebirth? Oh, I can't use it yet. Oh well, I can use this. Um, Artix can... I think he has a full heal, or is a very good heal. Yeah, full heal. Pretty good. Um, and Nathira has this. There you go. Oh no, she's gonna die. Don't hit her. Oh yeah, there you go. Hit Artix. Artix has the most health. He's the one that we don't need. <laughs> well, the one that we don't mind getting hit. This heals me a little bit. There you go. So yeah, this quest is kind of shit. I don't like it. I'm very sure this is my least favorite quest ever. <laughs> um, if they go and heal like every so often, which is kind of shit, she might die. I don't know how often Artix can heal her. Um, are we safe now? Maybe? Because there's all those boulders there, so I thought maybe 
We're safe to um, progress. Um, I want to kill this one myself because it, I've used a buff on it. There you go. And if Thera can get a good little heal, might need it. Oh. Uh, let's just do this. I want to do damages now because I've got a new weapon. Not too much more, but it is definitely more. That's the thing about the Paramancy, you never really seem to notice a damage increase when you get a new weapon. I guess maybe it could be a bit too overpowered. Am I away from the catapults now? Maybe. I hope so, that'll be pretty good. I will attack this one again. Yeah, for it. Oh no, I hit the wrong one. Oh well, I know it's still alive. Brain. Get as much heals as we possibly can. Um, do I have the multi? I'm very sorry I have a multi. Multi is... Blooming Beasts... Oh, they're here, here. <laughs> Don't know why I didn't see that. Wow. Whoa. Two big hits there. That's pretty lucky. Nice. I think I'm away from the catapults. Oh god. He's gonna launch himself. There you are. Alright, here's the plan. No, 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 no. What the heck was that? I figured they tried to hit the quicker target. So splitting up was a good option. I even decided defeated a few mana hunters to make your path safer. That's rubbish. They tried to hit the slow moving targets first. You could try and help me in battles once in a while. I already had help. Okay, okay. I will from now on. Happy? Anyways, the rose reinforcements are coming, so here's the plan. I launched myself on the catapult towards Atria. And me? I can't sh shout my ideas in the front of the incoming enemy force, can I? Come closer. No. What? I'm not moving until you tell me what you're planning. Act like an adult midnight. Well, I'm sorry for being skeptical, but I know where this is going. Midnight, for the love of just come here. Promise you won't do what I'm thinking you will? Promise. What, pull me in the can catapult? Yep. Huh? What you said? <laughs> I lied. Oh wow, nice. Uh, rose sand wrap, what the fuck are these? Oh, you can actually get rose gear. That's pretty cool. Um, completely worse. You made it past the siege line. Oh, well, I don't want that because it's a bag of shit. Um, I might leave this on here because I don't know how long the next quest will be and I've got a a couple more things to record anyway. This one's short, but you know, don't worry about it. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye bye.